Hey, what's up? Come on in. Welcome to our new office. Finally, oh, we've moved in. You guys saw our last office. It was just myself, and then we had two people, then three, then four, and we outgrew the space really fast. So this is our reception area. This is where our social media manager works full time. We're in the office five days a week. We all work seven days a week, essentially. TikTok, YouTube, the podcast. We've got a lot going on. I'm trading, I'm running the company. So he is running our social media accounts. He's doing editing. Uh, if you come through here, uh, we've got our little living room. We still want to throw a sign up on the wall, make it look better. We've got couch, little nice seating area, TV. We always keep the stock market channel pulled up. So in a quick glance, we can see what the market looks like. Little wall art, decorations, plants, lights, brighten the space up. When we came in here, all the walls were orange and it looked awful. So we had the whole space repainted, carpets cleaned. This is Jack's office. Jack Again, he's in the podcast with me. He trades full time and uh, he does a lot of the marketing stuff alongside myself. So he's got a great setup here. He actually has my old desk from the old office, if you recognize that. He's got his four monitors, computer. If you guys wanna go check out you know, his full office tour, we'll put the uh, description. It's great office. He's got some stuff on the wall, books, shelves. He put those shelves up. It looks nice. He didn't decorate it. His sister did. Shh, don't tell him I said that. And then you come through here, Okay, we got our media production manager who's behind the camera right now in his office where he spends most nights because he likes working all night. <laughs> he edits the YouTube videos, films, does all the creative, um, everything. You, essentially, everything you guys see comes through this guy. Um, so thank you. Uh, come through here, we've got our kitchen. This is what we just put in. Got the fridge, nice, clean, black. Um, if we were to actually put a ton of money into this, uh, we would have, but we're here for probably a year and a half. Um, so we spent, you know, a reasonable amount without going crazy. Kitchens can go from anywhere between 10 to $20,000. This whole office, I'd say we spent somewhere around 50, $60,000 on. Come through here. Okay, we've got our podcast studio. This is the only space that is still a work in progress. Uh, we've got a lot to do. We've just been busy setting up everything else and making sure that everyone's in a place where they can actually be productive and get their work done. We've been shooting the podcast in this very temporary setup, but we've got this great view of the city behind. This is a very, like, this building hosts some of the very high, I don't want to say who, very high people uh, in the government and big companies funds we're up here with a lot of huge huge companies so as a bunch of 20 year olds um it is crazy that we even got this space so the podcast studio is work in progress we'll keep you guys updated on that come through here we've got our conference room conference table and got this giant tv on the back playing what, what are we watching here uh, i don't even know it looks like cody my assistant put something up there um we're gonna put a blackboard there on the wall because we got this wall art but little did we know it makes this weird echoey sound which is not what you want in a conference room we've got the fake plants everywhere spice it, spice it up a bit but we're going to be here you know every monday morning 10 11 o'clock we have a meeting we talk about what our plans are for the week and then you know we all sit around here for lunch depending on the day everyone kind of works their own hours their own schedule we're in here all together throughout most of the day but you know, I don't want it to feel like anyone's working at nine to five. Everyone is more productive at certain hours of the day. So I, I like keeping it that way, pretty lenient. Anyway, we've got my office, come in. This is where I guess all the magic happens, right? This is where I do my trading, where I run the mentorship group from. Again, I post all my trades live in real time. So if you guys are interested in learning how to trade and want to see my exact trades, I'll put a link below. Okay, I'll give you a discount code too, if you want to go ahead and join. But we've got a great view of the city. They're building this uh, building out. So this view right now, it doesn't look too pretty, but once that building is actually finished, it'll be nice. I've got my six monitors. Okay, this is my previous monitor set up from my old office. I've got this desk. This is a standing desk. Forget what the brand was, but this is a $3,500 desk. Uh, you know, it needed to be able to support the weight of these monitors. It's got storage and file space. So we've got the TV over the couch where I typically keep CNBC up all day. You know, I trade based off of technicals, but 
it's nice sometimes to have the news on, see what's happening in the world, so I keep that on, or I'll play golf, because for whatever reason, golf seems to keep me relaxed. Trading is a very stressful job, so that does help. Behind where I sit, we've got a photo of a private jet, nice wall art, good inspiration, because eventually that will be a jet that I own. Got a little drink cabinet that has no drinks in it, uh, again, I'm 20, can't drink legally, but it's a good little display for the office. Coffee table, got some wall art. We've got the astronaut sitting on the couch, which I thought was just an interesting photo that makes your mind think. And then we have my blackboard with my goals and um, whatever else I wanna put on there. But yeah, this is my space where I spend most of my time where we shoot content. And then finally, our last office, which you won't get to see because my assistant is in a meeting right now. That's his office right there. So in total, this is about 2,500 square feet. We've got five, technically one, two, three, four, five separate office spaces. We have our reception area, and then we have our break room, our kitchen, and our conference room. So it's a great space. Get in here, Jack. I just gave everyone an office tour. Office is sick. Did you guys see my office? Pretty good, it's quite right? The best right now. Yeah, I did my own office tour video. I might have I might have leaked some information that you're not gonna be happy about. <laughs> Clean up your office. Yeah, you still got the filming stuff up. Yeah. Oh well. This is it. Yeah, this is it. The real life. Yep. Uh, pretty casual office tour. Again, if you want to learn how to trade, go ahead, click the first link in the description. We have to go hop on a call. We're actually recording. Oh, this is this is crazy. Should we talk about it? Should we get in here? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the Rumford Group. What is the Rumford Group? You want to pitch it? Elevator pitch, go. All right. Oh, give me no pressure. One, two, three, go. So pretty much we are creating the highest level of trading education out there. There is a huge lack of quality education and the way people used to learn back in the day is they would actually trade on Wall Street. Now that everything's gone digital, that is no more. So we were picking up where Wall Street left off, working with some of the most esteemed veteran traders in the world, guys who traded 44 plus years, partners at all right 30 seconds firms. that was good you'll hear more yeah. soon stay tuned hope you guys did enjoy i'll see you in the next one later mm -hmm.